Just pulling up to Hibs. He uh, slept in this morning for sheep hunting. He said, I'll be at the shop at 3.30. It's after four. Uh, hello? Just got unloaded, ready to make the quad trip in. Hopefully the river is not as high as it was last year. This next river crossing coming up what cost us two days last year so <laughs> I think we've got a better game plan a little more prepared we'll see what nature has in store Go! should be higher spirits at this point this year made it across the river <laughs> You can That's walk. Way back. Just saying, how nice of weather this is. It's gonna be a slow start, but we're gonna get there. You boys ready? Yeah. All right, let's roll. Okay, good luck. We started out on August 20th this year. The season opens on the 25th, but we like to get up in the hills and have a few days to find some rams, really get set up for opening morning. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty happy with Leish being our guide. He's done a pretty good job of finding the nice ways up there. Not as hot as last year. Hottest part of the day though right now. Yeah. How's everyone feeling? Great. Yeah. We're going hunting. Say that again. Uh, He's kind of our sound effects guy. Sam Scratch? I think they go. Mmm. That's what I heard. <laughs> oh no. If only it was the same temperature all the time. Gord, is it your year? Any year is my year. They're all your years? Yeah. Should we just go up to the bottom step and then cut across? Yep. All right, I like it. Hey, Hib, we're gonna gain a bunch of elevation here. Hey, Leish. First one's on the mountain. Thank you. 
We're in sheep country. Almost there, boys. Almost there. Good work. You too. Hey, fellas. We fucking made it. 9.24. 4 hours, 48 minutes. It's a long fucking day, boys. 8.9K. Skittles, a couple banana chips, and I'm going to bed. So we made it to camp, day one. It's a pretty big win. It was a big day. Okay, go get us some water, boys. Thank you. Copy oh. that. And wood. Don't forget about wood. And me and this guy, Gord, are going to go find our sheep. This is what we came here for what the hike was all about. Day one of scouting. Day one of scouting. I can't keep up to this guy at all. That is a mountain goat. Never seen a mountain goat out here before. Man, you're a billy. That's a billy billy. Boom. Oh. With eyes on rams, we figured we'd head back, let the other guys know, and get some good rest for the night. Day three, moving our camp deeper. Found the rams, we got a while to watch them, so we're gonna go. 10 mils of rain today. It's down to, what, one or two degrees last night? By camp one, hit okay. sweet waterfall here. Boom. Turns into this. when it comes to kill time. But other than that... I hope so. Soft as a teddy bear. But other than that, I'm a very, very soft person. Thank you. Can you look any cooler? I can't look any cooler. <laughs> as cool as I can look. Burn and Terry are saying 10 to 15 tonight. So we got three, five to 10 Wednesday. So every single weather report we've got is wrong. So we'll or have different. To, different. We'll have to add them all together and then divide them by three. <laughs> is that how it works? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, take math. the average. You've always been better at math. Come check out the inside of our house. Go we'll fly through. Sweet day. Here, you want to come check out my place? Yeah. Have just got it. Shit. Yeah. Look at this thing. I don't believe it. It's got a floor. Wow. Pretty intense. <laughs> intense. What are we seeing? It's on us. Rams. 
Oh, yeah, I did that too. That's good. Oh, that's a must. Yeah. I think there might be legal ones. That's really good. Yes, very good. Is the tight one you said the one that had the Roman nose a little bit? Too? I think so, yeah. yeah. You can almost see right there. Yeah, a little, a little white yeah. patch where you're looking into the hair instead of onto it. Right there. Yeah. I think he does. So our rams went around a ridge. That we were hoping they weren't going to. They were supposed to stay where they were. Oh, I caught him taking a shit. That's great. We got eyes on them now, but not for very long. If they drop down, we're not going to be able to see them. We're still missing some. Can't tell from here because we're about oh, a kilometer and a half away if the big ones are with this group. And she's a little hazy. Socked in here. Super socked in. So, day number three. Found the rams, lost the rams. These two guys went on a hike, respotted them, and then the fog came in and, well, as you can see, or can't see. That's what we're looking at. Day four. It's raining. A Re lot. Really raining. <laughs> Our other boys are about 10 feet north of us in their tent. It's gonna be wet. Wet day. Rainfall warnings. So 70 millimeters today. Yeah, then it rained all night. there is a very good chance of 50 to 80 centimeters of rain. Mills. Oh, damn. <laughs> Not centimeters. <Mills. laughs> Hi. Okay, so we've got a little break in the weather here. We are go see if we can get eyes on the sheep again before the weather comes back because it's coming back. It's fucking around, lost a glove. I had to walk back 150 yards. What are the odds of that? Pretty excited about finding my glove. <laughs> See this, Gord? He's broomed off on him. Yeah, he is. For sure. Yeah. But it's still legal when he looks at him. Of course. Good night, boys. Yeah. Fog cleared for a few hours. Yeah, four or five hours. Now it's pouring rain. We got soaked. Went through a bit of a hurricane. Got the other... some good intel. Yep. Lay really here in a wet sleeping bag and wet clothes and see if we warm up. <laughs> Shot to warm up. It's a good idea. Take some of that. Day four today? Yeah. So. Probably signing out of day four. We're in the tent now. Night. Day three? I don't know. 
to my uh, I think they said <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys can fuck up anything, eh? Alright, day four. Cut. What are we gonna say? Good morning, day five! Oh. She's foggy out. A little chilly as you can see her breath. Both tents are still standing. Now we gotta get through the fog and go and spot them, hey Hiv? That's right, that's the plan. Tomorrow morning hopefully we can get one, maybe two on the ground. We analyzed a fair bit of video and pictures. He's definitely there. Well, the problem I'm having right now is it looked like this when we were up at Nope. And these guys could see the sheep clearly from up, up there. And we also have to wait till this clouds clear out, mm -hmm. lift up, or burn off. With, and we know that they're not moved back around to where we first seen them. Spook them in the fog wouldn't be great. Be a lot of days of pain for, for nothing. <laughs> I'm going to send two guys up in the fog to check to see if they moved before the other two of us go around. Odovi's fifth member, Brandt, has also told us over the sat phone that we've got an hour or two and it should keep clearing up, so I trust him. It's good news. We need it. Six o'clock. Visibility is starting to get better. It's the first time we've been able to see across here. As soon as we could see that the sheep hadn't moved around to an area that we were going to be exposed to, we climbed down, met up with the other group, and went back to where we saw the sheep. Fuck all of that, eh? Oh, it's easy. Well, this is Broomy. Broomy is a lot heavier. A lot heavier. We had a short hike in the dark to get back to the Rams. Once we were in position, we had about 20 minutes before the delight. Our target ram was still on the same north face of the mountain that they'd been on for the last few days. Just before the clock ticked to zero, the ram slowly got up and started moving higher, eventually moving around a ridge and out of sight. They went around. Now, this had happened a number of times over the last few days, and they always came back down to feed. So all we had to do was wait. Waiting wasn't easy, but it was our only option at that point. After about 20 minutes, Logan looked down behind us on the south side of the mountain. 
and that's when all our plans went out the window. sitting on top of the ramps and they came over and around us. Just gotta regroup and find them. Yep. I'm going over my head if I should have squeezed off the ground, but I think over here? Yeah. Is it close? There's 500 fucking yards. Yeah. When I finally felt fucking good. We'll get them. That wasn't a very good fucking shooting position either. No. tough when you put so much work and effort into something and you get so close to it just for it to slip away. I think we all felt pretty defeated. We didn't give up. We pushed on. We actually found the rams again, but they had moved to a section of cliffs that they felt pretty safe in. And by that point, we were out of time for the year. We spent the next day and a half getting back to the truck. We were a pretty quiet group. It doesn't always need to be a dead ram or two at the end to have a good story or a good hunt. It certainly helps, but this hunt's just going to be a little longer, so we're going to be out next year. We'll be a little smarter too. <laughs>